This topic of co-infections is when I go to, you know, ILADS conferences and Lyme disease conferences with doctors is one of the biggest things you see variants in between doctors. A saying that doctors say, tick is nature's dirty needle. I mean, these ticks live and, and eat, uh, you know, mice blood and deer, and these things don't just have Babesia or Borrelia or one, you know, Borrelia is Lyme, Babesia is a common co-infection. They often have multiple things. So when you get bit by the tick, it's not like you just got one present. You, know, you got a whole hoopla of stuff that just went into your system. And this is also what makes each case a little different. So if you get Borrelia with Babesia or Borrelia with a virus or Borrelia with Bartonella, you know, all these are things that start to really make each Lyme presentation very, very different because you get a different cocktail of, of uh, uh, microbial bugs that are now, you know, we call them the monkey piling on your back and dragging you down. But it can really make each patient a little different because these are not, it's not about just uh, Borrelia or Lyme. It's actually kind of this weird conglomeration of you just got bit by a very, very dirty bug and probably got a couple things in your system at the exact same time. There's a certain amount of Lyme doctors and Lyme you know, practitioners who just assume you have all the co-infections. They go, I'm not even going to spend any money testing, I'm just going to assume you have them all. And we're going to approach it that way. That leads us into how accurate is all the testing. But I will tell you, that's a somewhat safe assumption that a lot of doctors make is we just assume this is an absolute mess and you probably have three or four or five things at the same time with the Lyme every time. That's such an interesting point of view.